My bad, bro. I don't know. I don't know how to answer this question. Oh, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Just, just say the first thing that comes into your mind. Mm. Just talk about what, how, how you liked collaborating on the mural. Oh well, I like collaborating on it in many ways, and, and one of them was uh, we got to, we all got to show each other some, some of the things that, um, some things that we didn't know. Some people didn't know anything at all, and ended up doing a pretty good job in there. Um, uh, I got to learn a lot from other, some of the other guys. I did, there's some things I didn't know that I got to learn. Um, um, let's see. I just hope that there was, um, no, I wish there was more people coming here and working on it too. You know, I, I feel just one of I mean, just one Hispanic or one Mexican was mm -hmm. not enough to be working on it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there should have been more. Maybe it wasn't advertised enough or, or something. It was a last minute thing, but I hope there's more more projects like this to come and um, and more more people participate. And we'll make them, we'll try to make them bigger and better. You're doing Possibly. a great job. Uh, thanks. All right. Uh, what else? Another question. What's your name? Oh, my name is Israel Rincón. I, I am a son of Mexican field workers. Um, what else? I've been doing art my whole life, pretty much, since I was a little kid in elementary school. Uh, how do you feel about the cultural symbolism in the mural that you've worked on? Um, well, I felt like we were all coming from a pretty genuine place with it, and I liked our approach. Um, the way that we communicated thoughts of having different um, culturally symbolic uh, pieces inside of the mural. Alright, how do you feel about street art? Uh, I love street art. I grew up in a pretty urban city, so I saw street art in a few different contexts. I saw graffiti that was affiliated with like gang activity, but then I also saw street art from like legal murals um, and how it could represent the history of a neighborhood or what the aspirations are of a neighborhood. So I have a, a real appreciation for street art. Cool. Um, do you have a favorite muralist or street artist? Um, my both? favorite graffiti artist that's kind of transitioned into more of the street art world is Nichos. He's an artist out of Austria, but now he lives and works out of San Francisco. Do you live in Watsonville? Uh, no, I actually live in Capitol. Okay. Um, do you feel like the mural portrays the cultural heritage of Watsonville? Yeah, we were, as a group, we were pretty intentional about wanting to show the cultural legacy of Watsonville um, from the people who first lived here and the people who came and settled afterwards. Um, so that's kind of what's portrayed in the left side of the mural and on the right side of the mural. We're trying to portray uh, positive hopes for the future of Watsonville through education and the arts um, and just really striving to rise up as like a community. The Aztec sun in the sky. On the, there's two murals. One represents the past. One is this current. And um, what we talked about a lot in this collaborative project is how this valley has been inhabited by immigrants uh -huh. and many different immigrants. And the reason for that is because of the land. Uh -huh. And people could work because uh -huh. the land is so rich from the river overflowing for so long and the mountains behind it that brought all of the water to it and then the earth and so it's such so rich and so now it's also rich culturally because of that and people that don't have education or speak English could easily come here and work the soil okay how long have you been painting 16 years uh, have you ever worked on a mural before yes how do you feel about the collaborative process behind a mural? Um, 
This is the first mural I worked on with other people, basically, except for one other. It was the most people I worked on a mural with, and it went really well. The teacher, Margaret, was very good at getting everyone to have their own voice be heard without drowning out everyone else. Uh -huh. So that was really good. And I really loved the class. It was great to do. Um, yeah, I would say that the process worked great. We could have worked more, but we had the classes only so long, and there's only meet so many times a week. Oh. So there's that too. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, what do you think the mural is about? I think the mural is about uh, conveying ideas from us in the class to the people who will look at the mural and we're trying to filter ideas by forming them into images so it's kind of like if we all just talked but then it gets focused into like we're going to talk about the agriculture in San Watsonville, we're going to talk about the Cabrillo campus and how, you know, stuff stuff that you see in the mural is what we all kind of talked about first and then we put it in. How long have you been painting? Like personally? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't, not too long, honestly, maybe like two years, but cool. like kind of like intermittently, I wouldn't really consider myself. Did you uh, learn anything from the other students through the collaborative process of this mural? Uh, yeah, definitely. I learned how to like kind of like gather all of our ideas together and kind of build like a foundation of everyone's ideas uh -huh. into like one kind of like collective thing, one okay. collective uh, manifestation. All right. All right. Um, my name is Esmer and I was part of the mural painting at uh, Cabrillo Watsonville campus. Um, I think that Margaret um, started a really beautiful thing for Cabrillo. I think that Cabrillo has a lot to offer to students and art is a really big one now, which I think would be really appreciated by the people in Watsonville and outside of Watsonville. Um, and I hope that I can see more of this uh, communal work with art in the future, and I'd love to see Margaret continue to teach that and uh, do her best with bringing out that really beautiful part of us. Um, we can paint and be ourselves and work together. Um, and I think I'm really proud of um, how we all worked with one another. Uh, we started off with close to probably 15 people, um, but we filed down to um, a small group, but I think we really worked quickly and efficiently, and we all got along really well. There was no confrontation of any sort, um, and the $1 taco is really awesome, too. All right, awesome. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you, Margaret.